Welcome back to the Subspace Games YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at one of the other game engines that I've decided to use, um, at least for 2D, um, and that's the Corona SDK. Um, you may have heard of it from the, um, you know, that bubble ball game that the 14-year-old boy made that became the, the, you know, knocked Angry Birds off the, uh, off the number one um, downloadable downloaded app. Um, so it's pretty easy to do, uh, from what I've seen works pretty well. Um, so basically I'm just going to go through getting it downloaded, getting it installed. I will say that with, um, uh, just like with Shiva 3d, the Corona SDK, uh, there is a cost to it. Um, you know, I've looked at some of the free, uh, game development engines and, there's a lot of nice stuff that you can do with them, but when it comes to being able to publish them on multiple devices and just um, you know having ease of use, um, I think that these are definitely worth the money. Um, I certainly don't have the money straight off the bat to be able to afford these. You know, I'm doing this on a on a shoestring budget and doing it while I'm uh, working another job. Um, so, but it's definitely very affordable compared to. Um, to the other ones, you know, that are out there like Unity and, and some of the other platforms. So you basically go to anskamobile.com slash Corona, and then there's a download button. And you just click on the download, uh, select Windows or Mac, depending on what you want. You'll notice over here that this is what I'm talking about when it comes to price. There's a pro subscription, which is $349. Um, there's also, you know, they break it out between... Um, iPhone and Android if you wanted to just do one or the other it's 199 a year that's the other, other thing about um, Corona is that it is a yearly license so it's the kind of thing that you probably when you're ready to do a game um, then I would pull the trigger on this if you're you're thinking about doing game development you may not want to spend the money on it because if you don't get your game done within the year then you're plunking down another 200 bucks or 350 bucks um, but you don't have any income coming in so Anyways, keep that in mind. So I downloaded the um, Corona SDK. Let's go ahead and double click on it and let's get this puppy installed. Typical Windows installer. Um, just, you know, I'll agree to the license. I know I should be reading that. Um, I'm just going to put it in the default place. Keep hitting next. It takes a second. It's actually a pretty quick install. Um, you know, the download is only. 30 some odd meg so it's not super huge it's definitely um, not really bloated and everything it just gives you what you need to do um, what you need to and doesn't give you all the fluff alright so we have it installed now let's go ahead and close that okay so let's go ahead and open it up so uh, easiest way is to go to your start menu programs Corona SDK let's go to the Corona simulator uh, you know so you get this so well, it looks like um, I had another version installed and I I uninstalled it and then reinstalled this one and it's still picking up that I had it installed for 38 days. I don't know if there is a time limit on this. I'll need to check. Um, but basically if you haven't bought the thing, you just click on continue trial, obviously. So um, there isn't an IDE to work in within Corona. What you do is you create your Lua um, in another file. Um, I've uh, you know, I've got Lua running in Notepad++. It comes with the, um, you know, the code highlighting for for Lua, so it just kind of works. Um, there may be a better ID to use. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really done a lot with Lua, but um, so I've got the bridge project open here. You'll notice what's kind of cool is, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of functionality in in that project. We'll take a look at here, but it's 117 lines of code, and then there's this config file which is just nine lines of code and that's it I mean when you look in uh, and it's this simu this uh, program right here when you look at the code that's all there is is just those two files so it's kinda like Shiva in the fact that it's there's a lot of physics and things that are built in you add stuff um, as you need to and you want to get access to it and then everything else is just kinda handled on its own so we can click on these rocks and see how it affects uh, you know the bridge and then if we want to, uh, you know, we can click on this and we can see the, the physics take effect as the bridge falls down. Um, Control-R will restart the simulator. 
So the rock comes down and we can click on the bridge and we'll knock it out. You'll see that it's pretty realistic. Um, I like the physics on this and you're able to get something up pretty quickly. Let's load um, uh, let's see here. Let's go into bullet. So, you know, I mean, it's it's pretty neat. The, the kind of physics and the interactions that you can get um, from just a simple simple program like that. In fact, on the bullet one, uh, let's open this one in notepad. So it's the same. This one's even less. I mean, we're talking 58 lines of code. Um, so I'm looking forward to taking more of a look at Corona SDK. I, I think I'm going to do a few videos sprinkled in with the other videos that I'm doing um, for the Shiva just because I like to kind of shake things up a little bit and do something that's a little bit different. Um, you know, so I'll keep I'll keep doing some of these videos and and we'll see where we can get with Corona uh, relatively quick relatively quickly. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you get a chance, go check out uh, Corona and some of the games that they've um, been able to do. Uh, it's a great engine, and then also feel free to check out my other videos. Remember, you can go to my uh, my blog at subspacegames.com, and I've got code for my Shiva project up at GitHub, and uh, there's a forum up where you can go in and you can test out my 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 game that we're calling Radioactive and play around with that and then leave me feedback in my forum so there's lots of lots of stuff that you can do to interact with me leave me some comments some feedback um, and just let me know how things are going if you have any questions or you have any comments if you use some of these things before and and uh, you just want to point some things out you know I welcome all those things because I'm just learning as I'm teaching you guys so anything that you want to do to make this a, a more interactive experience please feel free to do so and we will see you next time